Before we get started, make sure that you like this video and also subscribe to this channel where we have videos like this that show you how to take better photos and videos so you can grow your brand. Hey everyone, it's Nick with Table 19 Media. I'm here with Lance Neal with The Neal Group at Remax Orange Beach. And so today we're shooting a video where he's actually in the video tour explaining a couple things, introducing the house and uh, uh, telling the uh, potential buyers about the different uh, features of the house. Um, so we're shooting a video with him in it. That's going to be a property tour, just some and just some footage of him explaining some things about the house. So it's going to be going to be a fun day. It's a beautiful house. Can't wait to show you the entire video tour at the end of this. But uh, we're going to get started. Hey guys, I want to go over the equipment that I'm going to be using for this video. So first, I have the Ronin S that I'm going to be mounting my camera on. It has the multi. You'll see the multi cord multi-function cord on there so I can just hit the button and it'll uh, hit the button on the gimbal and it will uh, record but this is going to give me smooth movements because I'm going to be working with uh, Lance the agent um, a couple different places around I want uh, around the house I want the uh, the shots to be smooth I'm probably going to be like following him like backing up or you know going moving forward as he's talking as uh, you know doing a talk and walk around the uh, around the property so um, so that's so first I'm going to be using the gimbal. So for the camera, I'm using my A7 III, Sony A7 III. Um, this is going to, uh, I'm going to be shooting in 4K, 24 frames a second. Now, because we're shooting this early in the morning, um, and it's still fairly bright outside, um, and I want to shoot at a f-stop of 2.8 because I want the shallow depth of field, you know, with a lance in focus and everything blurred out a little bit, just to have, uh, just gives a better look um, than just having everything, you know, at like, you know, 22 uh, f-stop. So, um, in order to do that, because if I put it at, uh, even put it at the ISO at 100, and then um, the uh, the aperture at 2.8, everything's gonna be way too bright. So I'm gonna have to put on my Tiffin a variable ND filter on here so that I can bring bring the lens down. This is a 24 to 70 G Master uh, 2.8, so I can bring that down to 2.8, have the ISO still uh, at 100, and then just adjust the variable ND filter so that um, I have uh, I can bring it down so that I can get the aperture that I want without blowing anything out. So that's uh, definitely a tip. If you can get a hold of a variable ND filter or even just a set of some ND filters, that's gonna help a lot, especially when you're shooting outside so that you can still get those, uh, those apertures of you know 1.8, 2.8, um, even four. Um, so that uh, your shots look uh, way more stylized, just have better depth of field in them. Next is the microphone that I'm using to mic up Lance while he's talking. I'm not going to rely on just a microphone on camera. I need to have him mic'd up so that it doesn't depend uh, on how far away I am from him. Uh, shooting the actual video, I'm going to get clean audio, and so I'm using the DR-10L from Tascam. This one is a little bit different because it records directly to a uh, uh, mini SD card inside the microphone. So I can get, turn this on, give this to him, get him mic'd up, and then he can just walk around and it's going to record everything. So then later in post, when I go into Final Cut, all I have to do is take those clips that I recorded with him and then select this video, or the, select the audio file and just click synchronize clips and that's going to synchronize it all and then I can just take out the parts that I want of him and that's also going to have clean audio and then I can put that into the video tour. So it's a little bit different, it's not recording directly to the video on camera but it's giving me a continuous audio file even if we're shooting video or not that I can sync up later to the clips. So uh, super handy, I definitely recommend them. Um, it's come in handy uh, a, a lot of times when I have to, uh, when I'm just shooting all day and uh, so I'll just give them the, micro the microphone, turn it on and it will record for hours and hours and hours depending on you know what uh, size memory card you put in there but uh, still a great investment. Um, to, uh, to, to get started shooting uh, video tours like this, especially with agents involved. So the way I figured to shoot this house actually was not to use my wide angle, my 12 millimeter Laowa 0D lens for this house. The main reason was because the ceilings are so low, they're about seven and a half, eight feet. Using the 12 millimeter is gonna be too wide. You're gonna get too much of the floors and the ceiling with such a wide lens like that that you're really not able to see, you know, the best part of the house. 
it was essentially be like a third of the frame would just be the actual house and the, the layout. And so I didn't want to have so much of the frame of the ceiling and of the floor. So I opted to use my 24 to 70 lens to shoot actually everything uh, for this video of this property. I'm, use I'm shooting at 24 millimeters really for most of the, the wide shots of the property. And then I go back through with the 50 to 70 and um, shoot more uh, tighter shots of, of the fixtures, of the floor, you know, different uh, design parts, design aspects of the house. So um, I was looking back over the footage and I think it looks really good. It, it, it gives more of a, a cozy feeling instead of just shooting a wide lens and just, you know, so far back that it, it, I think it's really gonna distort too much of what the house actually looks like. So um, that's just, I would say that's a tip that, you know, you don't always necessarily need to go with the widest lens that you have um, in shooting properties. A property like this where it's a little bit more cozy, a little bit more quaint, um, has lower ceilings, you probably wanna opt for you know something either 18 millimeter or 24 millimeter lens to shoot so that you're, you know, you're capturing more of uh, the layout and the design of the house instead of just a whole bunch of ceiling and a whole bunch of floor. So um, I hope you guys like it. Um, I'm gonna get this edited now that I have this all done and we'll uh, um, take a look. Welcome to 29289 Bayshore Drive North in Orange Beach, Alabama. Located in a Bear Point community and within walking distance to a private boat launch, private beach area, and the Bear Point Marina, this home is perfectly situated on Arnica Bay and offers a peaceful and relaxing way of life with stunning water views. With six bedrooms, four and a half baths, a bonus pass-through bunk room, and over 800 square feet of outdoor covered area, this home is great for large gatherings and outdoor entertainment. home features nine foot concrete pilings, an exterior utility elevator, part pine flooring, cedar and cypress walls, updated bathrooms, through flow decking on the pier, deep water, and two boat lifts. The home is just a short boat ride to Pirate's Cove. So hopefully this video was helpful for you in starting to shoot uh, or you continue to shoot uh, properties 
for yourself and, and others. Uh, feel free to let me know in the comments below what you think of the video, anything that you think you would have done differently or any questions that you have about shooting luxury properties. Also in the description below, I have two courses that you can take to help you shoot better photos and video on your smartphone. You can check those out below. Also make sure that you like this video and subscribe. I have more videos like this coming out very soon. I'm Nick with Table 19 Media. I'll see you in the next video.